Hello, welcome to day three of my 100 day vlog challenge. And the first thing I'm gonna to say today is why, why did nobody tell me how much of a mess I look the first thing in the morning? I can't believe the last two days I have opened up my vlogs with me looking <laughs> Not the best way to start a vlog, is it? So, I won't be doing that again. I won't be uh, turning on the camera at five o'clock in the morning and <laughs> having my dressing gown on. Probably not the best look, really, is it? It's not probably the best introduction to a vlog. So, I'm gonna try and make my opening vlog a bit more upbeat, a bit more with it. Right, today's vlog will be my favorite movies, but not in any order because uh, it'll take me too long to go through all my favorite films and make a top 10 list or whatever. So I'm just gonna uh, go through some of my favorite films and say why, and then um, see what happens after that. Cheerio! Right, so I'm gonna run you through some of my favorite films that I've watched in my lifetime. You may have spotted in my other office upstairs uh, a few posters on the wall. One of them is in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I love Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I've watched it millions of times. The last 20 minutes of the film is probably one of my favorite parts of any film. When the uh, spaceships come over the, uh, the mountain, uh, the, the special effects, for its time are amazing. I always love watching that, just that one part of the actual uh, film. If I'm ever bored or, you know, got nothing to do, which is very, very rare, uh, sometimes I'll just put the DVD on and just watch the last 20 minutes of Close Encounters of a Third Kind. Um, you'll also notice some posters for uh, Train Spotting. Train Spotting came out just as I was sort of moved out, really. I love the soundtrack. I remember when I first moved out of home, I moved into a one bedroom bed sit thing, but I remember playing that soundtrack quite a lot and quite loud. Yeah, that soundtrack. What's the song I'm thinking about? Born Slippy by Underworld. I lost count how many times I've actually sat and listened to that. Just that one tune alone, quite loud. But even now, I sometimes put it on in the car, really loud in the summer. Uh, Jurassic Park was uh, one of the first films I went to see in the cinema, uh, and it just blew me away. In them days, seeing dinosaurs that looked so lifelike was. Uh, literally you know, being like transported into a different world. Recently seen it again and yeah the special effects are, are slightly dated very very slightly but um, the original Jurassic Park film at the cinema uh, for the first time breathtaking. And this is my guilty pleasure now a lot of people go what but I love the Transformers franchise. <laughs> I never had a Transformer toy when I was a kid. We couldn't afford them, they were quite expensive. But the Michael Bay Transformers films, when I first saw the special effects on that, that blew me away. I'm st I still now look at it and think, how the hell did they make the robots look so amazing? The action in these Transformers films may be a bit far-fetched, but the, it's the special effects and Megan Fox. Don't forget Megan Fox. Yeah, Megan Fox in Transformers. Yeah, but it's special effects that I'm interested in, okay? Special effects. The Life of Brian, Monty Python. Again, it's one of those films you see as a rite of passage, really. You know, you, you see it as a young kid, and some of the jokes are just a bit out there, and it's uh, it's comedy from the 70s. My son has just discovered, and I hear him in his bedroom laughing, and I ask him what he's laughing at, and he's, he's just discovered Monty Python. He's nearly 14, and uh, the Monty Python sense of humour and comedy is still shining through. We were actually having dinner the other night and we were all reciting lines from uh, Life of Brian. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to get the big nose uh, joke quite a lot. That that line used to be thrown at me quite a lot at school. Uh, if you don't know what line I'm talking about, you, I don't really want to <laughs> say the line, but it's uh, basically about people with big noses. There's one scene in the whole film where someone with big nose gets a bit of a bit of a Ribbon. The last one I'm going to talk about is Schindler's List. I didn't really know a lot about the whole Holocaust, really, to be honest. I didn't really find out about it at school. Um, it wasn't until I watched Schindler's List that I really discovered what the whole, the whole Holocaust was all about. I know it's a funny story, but you know it's just not the wrong time to tell a funny story when we talk about Holocaust. But I went to see Schindler's List at the cinema with an old girlfriend, and uh, we, when we left the cinema, she just turned to me and said, "So why was Schindler such a hero?" I should have dumped her there and then, really, shouldn't I? To be honest, I mean, she just watched a three-hour film about a guy who saves uh, hundreds of Jewish lives and she walks out. I, th I think what she said was that she got confused between the Schindler's character played by Liam Nielsen and the character who looked after the concentration camp, Ralph, uh, Joseph Fiennes or Ralph Fiennes, one of the two, I can't remember which one it was, Voldemort basically. Yeah, I think she got confused between Schindler and and Voldemort. Okay, right, that's that's that that's that done. That's just one, two, three, four, five, six films that I thought I'd just run through very quickly with you. Um this is the third day of the 100 days vlog challenge. There's me and there's four other guys 
at the moment I know taking part. Uh, if you haven't started yet, doesn't matter, just start now. You know, do your day one tomorrow, whenever. As long as you can do 100 days in a row, it doesn't matter when you start. Right, so let's shout out to Scotty Milks, Daniel Gibbons at 219 Films, Warren at uh, Wazza's GoPro Vlogging, Jay at uh, and his channel A Day With Jay. He's put some great videos up on our Facebook group already, trying to get the whole community involved and he's making, it, you know, he's making a really big effort to get the whole community on Facebook to really push this. It really needs everybody to get involved to, to what's the word? Motivate everybody, motivate. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I don't really need too much motivation, but I don't know if I'd be saying that when it gets to day 50, day 52. You think, oh no, not another one, I've got to do another one. At the moment, I'm loving this. I'm loving the whole community thing on Facebook. I'm liking the comments already. I'll get on uh, these YouTube videos. I'm, I'm looking forward to what happens when I hit 99. And I, um, I need to plan ahead for my 100th one. I don't want to just to do a boring, Here's no 100 I've done it Woo. that's day three done time to edit okay so obviously the question of the day today will be what's your favorite film or just give me a list of your favorite films I sometimes struggle with favorite film because it all depends what mood I'm in it's a bit like music if someone says what's your favorite album to be honest it depends what mood I'm in so one day it'll be Queen album the next day it might be something by someone completely different <laughs> don't know who or it might be a compilation from Ministry of Sound, you know, if I'm feeling upbeat and need a bit of fast tempo. But anyway, what's your favourite film? Wow, I've just watched that last bit back while I've been editing. I can't believe how fast I was talking. The wife bought me a new brand of coffee, so I'm wondering whether that went straight to my head. Because, yeah, I can't believe how fast I was talking. Definitely caffeine, definitely too much caffeine. So, uh, apologies if I raffled, rattled on there for a bit too fast and a bit, oh, a bit randomly, but uh, that's it for now. Cheerio.